Hi everyone, welcome back. And uh, today we're making a special, um, almost New Year special. We did that last year, and you may have guessed it. It's biryani chicken, but this time we're doing it all from scratch. Last time we used um, for those at home that wanted to make it faster, we did the speed up version. Now we're doing the longer and tastier version, biryani chicken, with all spices required. There are over 30 different spices and a lot of steps. So this will be a longer video, but please stay tuned. Again, our official sponsor for today is Chaos. Um, they've agreed to supply us with this great apron and um, Thanks so much. Check them out in the pinned comments um, if you want to check out if you require any services. So let's get into it. Okay, for basically for your first step, which is going to be of many steps. The first step, you want to drain your rice and you want to leave it in soaked water for about 30 minutes. And I'll show you how to do that right now. And then I'll come back and I'll do another recording so that you can see what needs to be done next. So depending on how many servings you want for the biryani rice, you want about 400 grams for about 5 servings, or uh, you want about 300 grams for 4 servings. So that's the, that's the proportions we're going to be using today. Sorry, I'll just really... We're just going to pour the rice. So basically now we're just washing the rice. So we're just going to spread the rice like that just across the plate so we can let it to sit for half an hour. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for half an hour. It's been 30 minutes and we're finally time to start marinating the chicken that's our next step. For the marination, you need 500 grams of chicken cut into pieces, one cup yogurt, one cup ginger garlic paste. Um, you can put that together or you can do it separately. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, salt to taste. And that's basically for the marinade. Let's do it. So that's basically a chicken and you want to start by cutting that up. So right now we're just going to start by cutting up the chicken into longer pieces. This will make it uh, much juicier and um, better because unlike other um, recipes like stir fries, this one is uh, biryani has the chicken has to be long in longer strips. Okay, basically for your chicken, you want to put it into a half fold, and then along the middle, just place in one hand on one side of the chicken, and then just with a backward and forward movement. This one that, that's the tricky part, it's one that clean cut. And that's basically your chicken, just put that into a bowl. Basically here we've got our yogurt, and we want about two cups of yogurt. And of course we can't forget about our ginger garlic paste. Just want to add two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, just for maximum flavour. And basically we want to add um, we want to add one teaspoon of turmeric ground. Um, you can use the whole ones if you prefer, but I'm using the ground ones for um, for that great flavor. And this is optional, completely optional. Some people don't prefer turmeric, but it's part of the tradition of the recipe. For our next step, we want to add half a teaspoon of chili ground. Now this is the hot version. You can get the um, the red chili powder, which is not hot, but this is the spicy version. So uh, for those that wish to prefer spicy, get this one. And of course, salt per taste. So we're just going to mix up all the ingredients, just with our hands. Just going to leave, um, leave that and set aside for 30 minutes. Okay, so well, we have marinated the chicken, it's been set aside for 30 minutes. And then now we're going to be chopping the vegetables, so you need about two and a half tomatoes, um, two whole like, medium-sized onions, and that's basically it for our vegetables. Let's start chopping. So we're just going to cut the tomato just like that into kind of like fours. 
We're just gonna be cutting our onion into halves. For your next step, all our vegetables are done, by the way. For the next step, you want to grab your rice and add a bit of water, about um, half of your pot. And then for 30 minutes, you want to cook your rice until 70 to 80% done. You don't want it fully done, so we can later cook it later with the chicken, so you can have a really good texture. Okay, let's start cooking the rice. So we just want to let the water boil for about 5 minutes until we start seeing bubbles. You can start seeing like the the um, bubbles forming, so that's a good sign. It's time for the rice, we're just going to put it into the bowl, just gently, so it doesn't slot back. This is in, so it's time to pour. I'm going to add two or three cardamom just to the rice for maximum flavour. This is completely optional, but you can add some bay leaves. You can see there's some bay leaves, but um, if you want to add for some like maximum flavor. So basically the rice is now done. You can see that it's all bubbly and the rice is going to the top. So um, it's time to set it aside. I'm going to strain it and all good. Okay, basically all our rice is 70 to 80 percent done. And our next step is to cook the chicken. So we're gonna add the sliced onions and wait until they're golden brown. And then afterwards, we're going to add the chicken and uh, we're not gonna cook it fully. And then after that's done, we're gonna set aside and then I'll tell you what to do next. We're just gonna add some ghee. Now this is optional, you can use all sunflower oil, whatever oil you like to use, but this is for an authentic taste. So we're just going to add the onions, be careful with what you're trying to sprinkle. Now it's finally time to add the chicken. Now do this very slowly because it will definitely sprinkle. So we're just going to let that set for about 2 minutes and then we're going to add rose water and carrot oil with it just a little bit just for the flavour. Just add some more ghee just because it may dry up. Just some carrot water. Go for like 1 tablespoon, just spread it all around to make sure. And of course, rose water, just one tablespoon. This is completely optional, but you can add one chili just for flavor. Now, I know some people don't like spice, but this is um, just to give it like a nice chili flavor. This chicken. So this chicken is now done. You can see that um, chicken looks all done. It tastes really good. I know you can't taste it, but I can. <laughs> and it's nice and chilly, and you want like a nice sweet texture. So now we're going to so now we're going to transfer it into a bowl, and we're gonna let that sit aside, and we're gonna start cooking the rice. See now for our next step, we're gonna add some ghee, and we're going to let that sit for about one minute, and then we're gonna add um, a layer of rice, a lot of rice, chicken, a layer of rice, and then some spices. So now just add the rice slowly. Time for the chicken. Now we're going to add a layer of rice just on top of that chicken. And finally another layer of chicken. And then another layer of rice. Time for the final layer of rice. And finally a bit of gravy just on the top. On top, you just want to put some uh, cloths and then on top just the lid to 
have the bake off. Okay, so we have here our chicken biryani we're going to try. Wow, it's incredible. So tender and juicy and the perfect uh, dish that you can try today. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe and share. We'll back with more videos.